You know what I'm saying? Ain't the day. Um, my lives are just awesome. Oh, oh, like Instagram lives. I thought you meant like I have more than one life, which I don't. I should plug my phone in. Did I watch Stranger Things? Not yet. Not yet. I will. I will consume it, but not yet. What's on this week of John Stars? Hey, what's up, Jeremy? Um, how many unpublished songs have I written? Ballpark? Several. New Miguel record? I'll always listen to a New Miguel record. I will check it out. I know there's that one pineapple song. I dig it. Get existential on us. Well, don't... Don't, uh... Not to take all the authenticity out of it. Get existential. That sounds like a bad photo shoot. Like, now, John, get existential. Show me existential. Do I like Star Wars? Love Star Wars. It's hard to get Star Wars out of a person like me. When you're raised on Star Wars, it, it ain't coming out. Feeling lonely? No, I feel good. I feel like, I feel good. I feel connected to the universe today. It's good. Hey, there's your existentialism. I told you I'd get it to you. I have to plug my phone in. I like sushi. Austin. Powers. Someone just said come to Austin in December. I'm in Austin now. Uh, PRS Strat Info next year. For sure. Holiday plans. Shows with Chappelle in Los Angeles. I'm doing... Some concerts with Dave Chappelle. See you later, Nate. Oh, is that how soon Star Wars... See, Star Wars to me just always seems like uh, it's coming out, but not yet. But always. Like, it's always not yet out. But I guess at some point, it has to come out. Hey, you want to see something that I shouldn't enjoy as much as I do, yet I do? Look at this light-up cable. It's called It's Lit. Go for it, right? And when I plug it in... Hold on. No, it did not work. Oh, look at this. You didn't know you wanted it until you saw it, and then you realized you needed it. It's called It's Lit. Um, it just broke, but you don't, have to know. you don't have to know about that. Whenever someone writes RN for right now, I think they are writing registered nurse. That shows my age. Someone says, I'm learning to play one of your songs, registered nurse. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what RN is to me, and I think a lot of people. My grandmother was an RN. That's why I always see RN. Um, and also, AF is autofocus. So I am just autofocus... Registered nurse. Yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty luxurious. Also, this happened. Hey, here's my um, life hack for being on the road. I travel with a portable battery everywhere I go. Then I don't have to play Power Outlet Safari in every hotel room I go into because whoever designed hotel rooms is a sadistic fuck. Who? puts power outlets behind headboards that are drilled into the wall. We don't mess with that anymore. We just have two of these and we and we leapfrog them and we're good to go. No more power outlet safari. You think something like Olivia is hard to play? Um, it's sort of a blues song and it's like they're just the chords and then you add a sus to it pretty much. Is it a sus? Yeah, kind of, yeah. You got a sus. Sus. When people say sus like suspicious, I always hear sus like suspended in a chord. There's so many things that I hear differently. Who's my favorite jazz artist? Bill Evans. Leapfrog. Give me a good question. Leapfrog means you get two of something, and when this one's out, the other one's charged. You take that one, then you charge this one. Leapfrogging is also what some um, major rock and pop shows do where they have two sets and one sets up while the other one's playing and then 
the artist goes to the next. There's like two stages. So basically, leaf fogging is like taking two. Mr. Mort, you're going to make me laugh already. Hello. I would love to collaborate with Jason Isbell, but here's the thing. When you have people that are as good as Jason Isbell, why would he need to collaborate with anybody? You don't need to. You know, he's always going to be great. He doesn't need anyone else's help to be greater. It's impossible. So just everybody appreciate Jason Isbell. If you would like to get a picture or see a picture of the two of us together, because that would be exciting. Great. We'll make that happen as soon as possible. But why would you need me to impede on the greatness of Jason Isbell for a simple... Oh, now someone just wrote by. Those three letters just really, <laughs> really took the friggin' wind out of me. Um, yeah, but everybody wants collaborations when everybody's great. Let them be great. Doesn't need me to mess them up. Um, what else is going on? Mario 64 or Goldeneye? I remember Goldeneye more than I remember Mario 64. But I remember Mario 64 came out in like 1997. And so did a couple records. Like I listened to Aerosmith Nine Lives. Like I remember record, like hugely influential records based on having heard them while playing video games. So I listened to Nirvana in Utero playing F-Zero. This is actually a good content right now you're getting. Nirvana in Utero was like playing F-Zero. And I would play Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, and Mario 64, and Star Fox, and listen to, I guess, yeah, Star Fox was the first, that was the first version for 64. And I would listen to um, Nine Lives by Aerosmith, and I would listen to Beautiful World by Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Um, thanks, thanks, Mr. Mort. I'm, do, I'm going for a completist vibe today of the Supreme Stone Island, and then, and then topping it off with some Christos in the same color. Um, because why not? I remember Dave Matthews Band live at Luther College. It was a double CD. Um, that was like the, that was, it was, uh, I remember that record coming out like 99 or 2000. That was, um, that was awesome. Khaki hosiery. Mr. Mort. These socks are Visbin socks. We're, we're we're messing with we're rocking with Visvim socks. That's how we do it. <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've I've had Visvim bingos before. Where head to toe, like down to underwear, it's Visvim. What have I been thinking about lately? That's a great question, Mateus. I've been thinking about how where we've come this past year, and really over the last ten years as a society and really trying to parse what has worked and what hasn't and what needs to be adjusted because I think that the intentions of this society are really, really good. And I think that sometimes the, the play out of the intentions work against the intentions. And I think we all feel that way. Like we're allies with forces and causes that we watch sort of burn out and return to status quo and that's what I've been thinking about lately is how to how to get where we're trying to get to but I think it's a very difficult it's a very difficult the world right now is a very thin chain necklace with a lot of knots in it and everybody wants to be the one to pull the knots out and there's probably more knots because of it but we can never forget that the intention for most people is for goodness. And that's what I think about a lot is like, how do we adjust the sites so that we hit the target better on playing out our intentions? Do you know what I'm saying? And if that bored you, if that answer bored you, um, someone asked me that and I thought it was, I thought it was worth answering. Dudeism, I don't know what that means. Is that a Big Lebowski reference? Biggest change, mental outlook, thanks to the expansion of my musical pursuit. 
Oh, that's a good question. I don't really know. I'd have to think about it more, but it certainly made me really accepting of everything. That's for sure. Because in a lot of ways, music you don't like is just music you don't like yet. That's what I've learned. Music you think you don't like is just music that some future you has yet to discover. Okay, I'm about to go on stage for a... Uh, for a sound check, but that was really fun. And... Come on, come on, last question. Let's get one, one last question. Let's get one last question. 42 just discovered the dead. Yeah, man. I mean, when I think about the fact that when I was six years old, spring of 1977 had already happened and was already on tape and was already being listened to, you know, that when I was in high school, like, you know, these the, ver the best versions of these songs we play every night had already existed, you know, and had had already changed the world. And it, it what's what's great about it is it's just waiting for you to discover it. Like, I know that at some point, and don't come down on me because I've been busy, but I, I know that at some point Pink Floyd is going to knock me on my ass. Um, and I'm excited. It's just, it hasn't happened yet. But I'm sure that at some point I will be like, I can't believe that it took me this long to get into Pink Floyd. But we, it takes us a minute. There's a lot. Every year that every year later that someone is born is an extra year that they have to and get to discover before them musically. Um, will I be wearing this on stage tonight? Probably not. Um, but I'll be wearing it to soundcheck, which I'm going to right now. So listen. Have a great afternoon. Um, go buy yourself something nice. And I'll talk to you later. Hey, Ricky. Would I wear what Nikes on stage? Oh, the ones that I put up yesterday? Totally. Totally. What's up, Ricky Van Veen? Um, oh, that's interesting. Take you with me. You know what it is? Like, I'm not 100% sure that, like, I think you'd have to tell. I think it'd be fair... It would be unfair to walk to the stage and pass people and have conversations begin without them knowing that I was on Instagram Live. That would be unfair, so I can't do that. Okay, look, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't uh, looking for one last good hit. I want to go out on a high. Will I ever go to Europe? I came back from Europe. I was in Europe in May. I did not cop the acronyms today, Jake. I am... There's another thing. I'm trying to come off of the must-have, the, the, like, the, the, the must-have philosophy. I'm just trying to fall off of it. You know? The completest philosophy. I'm trying to, trying to disconnect from the completest philosophy of fashion. However, not.